Our low budget Warlock aggro deck costs around 1560 arcane dust to make, not counting the common cards. Um, but it will help you start climbing the rankings, particularly between rankings 20 and 15. Look, with a good draw, this can present such pressure to your opponent in the early game that they will not be able to establish control. But should you have a bad draw, you can always gain some of the advantage back by sacrificing your health for card advantage with your hero power. However, keep in mind that using your hero power may give your opponent that slight edge needed to beat you, so be cautious if you are behind. If your opponent starts to control the board, you can reset with Power Overwhelming and Shadow Flame. Try to avoid going to the late game as this will give a significant advantage to your opponent and most of your play is in the early game. It's quite a decent starting hand here with the Void Walker. We get life back from the Earthen Rings Farseer and we have a bit of removal with Soulfire. If we need to ramp it up, we can use the Arcane Golem, so that's a keeper. Not the best hand I could get, but I can work with it. Just remember the Void Walker will draw a lot of attention from the opponent. So we'll lead out with that Void Walker, probably follow up with a Flame Imp, we'll be a bit aggressive. And see what I mean? That silence creature on the taunt. So we'll just get rid of that. That's a nice trade. And get in some damage while we can. So let's see how he responds to that. Okay, that was interesting. It, that one play by my opponent just tells me a lot about his priorities. He should have been hitting my Flame Demon and trying to control the, the battlefield by getting rid of my minions. So knowing that that was his priority means I'm going to change the way I play. I'm just going to throw everything at his face and force him to deal with my creatures. Always love to see a blood imp. I think we'll drop the harvest golem. Seeing as we're forcing him to put his focus on our creatures, a harvest golem is going to give him all sorts of grief. Notice how he's stopped hitting my face and has to deal with my creatures now. And it's funny how a turn 3 attack can tell you so much about your opponent. Okay, so it's about time to get some life back. And a Lepanome's always good to have out there on the battlefield. We'll get some life back first. And get in some more damage. Now I'm not going to throw the 4 damage at his head just yet. I've played enough Paladins to know that they can come down with a, a Blessing of the Kings and pump one of their creatures. So any one of those 1-1s one could become a 5-5, five five, which is why I'm holding that back in reserve. Now, I do have the game in hand, unless he plays a Taunt creature. I don't really care about that legendary. And there we have it. Okay, so it's rank 15 and that was a fairly easy game. Stay tuned as we bring you more videos at rank 14.